Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So the next video we are going to talk about NestJS with MongoDB. So we have already talked about NestJS with the SQLize, NestJS with the TypeORM. Now we are talking about uh, MongoDB. So I mean if we compare the SQLize TypeORM with the MongoDB, the implementation is fairly simple because this is a NoSQL database and Mongoose is a ORM ODM we are going to use to to get get the data, update the data, fetch all these kind of operations from the NoSQL database MongoDB. Okay, so the implementation is uh, I do have this particular app. Okay, what we are doing is we are simply writing the controller services and all. Now we have done a lot of demos, so I think like writing this simple application should be fairly simple. Okay, I will focus more on to the what different we are doing from our sqlize or type orm first of all the database module because this is what is different if we compare it with the type orm and the sqlize here we are going to use uh, mongoose module and a mongoose module options i mean uh, and we just need a connection url which we need in the mongodb like uh, mongodb colon the username password host port sing single connection string okay and we are just passing it. So this is a dynamic initialization of a Mongoose module and for root async. And in this we are passing, we are calling this use factory method. And I mean, this is the dynamic initialization and we need it whenever you wanted to inject the configurations from some other module. And here we are using config module to pass on this connection string data. Okay, so this is pretty much simple about how we are writing the database module and then this database module will be a part of our uh, domain module so that domain module we have created inside this company folder if we see inside this entity module this is like a domain module so if you remember if you recall the type orm and sqlize implementation we were doing dot for feature right similarly the same process is here mongoose module dot for feature you can see the consistency here i mean same naming conventions and all makes it easy for developers to see what is happening and here we are passing two things instead of one we are passing the model and we are passing the schema okay and uh, here what we are doing is uh, if you just see this uh, i mean this is just an example i wanted to explain so this is the cat schema and how we are passing it for feature the name and the schema right if we just look into our code what we are doing is we have this company schema right and company so inside this company schema you can define your old way of schema modeling in the in the mongodb or you can use these annotations that depends on how you're comfortable with all these things it's just a simple properties and just a schema and company schema is nothing but schema factory dot create class and you pass the company object company class so it will give you that schema okay it's just a nest js way of creating the schema model it can be a company user courses and all uh, i mean if you have done the basic express with the, the mongodb then you might already know how to write a schema model it's just a different way of writing it but looks pretty much familiar if we are coming from the background of sqlize and typo rm now this entity module is saying okay i now you can actually go to your service and you can access anything from this company model that is what we are doing inside our service this is a company service and if you remember we are doing the same thing with the postgres and all what we are doing here is uh, i will just re resolve all these what we are doing here is uh, we are just injecting this company model and this company we can import now we have this model we have this TTO and all right so we are injecting this model and we are accessing the model object so now you can do you can do the same set of methods which we were running uh, this dot model dot find by id find by id dot remove find by id and update all these methods we can actually pass okay so it's like get company update company delete company get all company which is simple as a find method right and this is these are the promise base so i put await and dot exec because this will convert it into a promise and we already good at writing a sync await this these all are returning the promises of company or company array and we have these controllers right 
So I don't want to write this code because it's fairly simple. We have already written more complex code than this. Uh, these are just a simple controllers like a sync get company, this company service dot get all company, and just written a response. Okay, there are many ways to return a response. If you you can simply return whatever you are getting, the the NestJS controllers will automatically convert that into HTTP response. Okay, so these are just a, some, some different methods we have like get company, get company by ID, update company by ID, get all company, create a new company. We are calling a service. Here we are taking a DTO. You can add a DTO validations. All the same set of things which we were doing earlier, you can do that. Here we might be doing the validation of this company ID because when you want to do a get company, you might be passing the object ID. So we have created this validate object ID, another class by implementing this pipe transform this is just a custom why we need it we need to validate that the id you are passing that should be of type object id because mongodb creates the object id for each and every document and whenever you are doing a update delete or get a particular resource you will be passing object id in the request uh, parameter and this particular pipe will validate that it is a valid object id or not that is just a uh, you can see the validation criteria on the request parameter okay so this is all about uh, the nice cs with uh, mongodb and i have already written a lot of applications you can find that on the github i will also push this particular code onto the github this is already using uh, the mongo com docker compose.yml so you spin up it will spin up the mongodb for you and we just need our env file env file having all the i mean the connection url at least okay that's it that's what you need and you already have a docker file and all these things which you really need to run this application okay so this is pretty much about what we need what how to do the integration of sgs with the mongodb now there is a one single collection you can have n different collections you can define some kind of object referencing from one schema to another schema you can define the same set of relationship like one to one one to many and many to many it's a no sql database so obviously it's a different we are not going to create a foreign key and all these things but it's kind of familiar okay and i have covered in depth about uh, the nasdaq mongodb in my previous playlist so if you want if you are interested in learning more about it you can explore there okay now the more hands-on we are going to do on let's say building an authentication and authorization service simple authentication and authorization service from scratch with the nest js okay authentication authorization service is simple which will authenticate your token from the firebase authenticate your token coming from the auth zero and also provide a role based access control because we are decoding the payload extracting your role and then we will decide okay which particular routes you can access which particular routes you cannot access so Let's connect uh, in the next video for that. Thanks everyone.